recent news in ufology, and the implications are really huge. New DNA analysis has been released on the Paracas elongated skulls with incredible results. This is truly epic. The findings are that the skulls have mitochondrial DNA with mutations unknown in any human primate or animal known so far. Paracas is a desert peninsula located in the Pisco Provenance in the Ica region on the south coast of Peru. Archaeologist Julio Tello found over 300 of these elongated skulls, which are believed to date back around 3,000 years. It's well known that most cases of skull elongation are the result of cranial deformation, known as head flattening or headboarding, where the skull is intentionally deformed by applying force over a long period of time. But by allowing this practice, it doesn't alter its volume or alter any of its weight. These Paracas skulls are truly different. The DNA analysis conducted on one of these specimens has revealed preliminary findings regarding these enigmatic skulls. The cranial volume is up to 25% larger and 60% heavier than conventional human skulls. These skulls also contain one partial plate, not two, so this is truly a real mystery and has been for decades. The Paracas History Museum, which houses a collection of 35 of these Paracas skulls, allowed samples for the study of five skulls. The samples that were taken consist of hair, tooth, bone, and skin. The samples were sent to the late Lloyd Pye, founder of the Star Child Project, who then sent them on to a geneticist in Texas for DNA testing. The results that came back via Brian Forrester, author of more than 10 books and an authority on ancient elongated skulls of peoples from South America have just been revealed. A few fragments that were sequenced from these samples indicated that if these mutations hold, we are dealing with a new human-like creature, not like Homo sapiens or Neanderthals. Per the geneticist, they may not even fit into the known evolutionary tree. If the Paracas individuals were so biologically different, they would not have been able to interbreed with humans. These results will need to be studied further and I can't wait to see where this rabbit hole will take us. Stay tuned for updates as they come in. Where do you think these skulls came from? And what do you think they are? Please leave your comments below and don't forget to click the like and subscribe buttons. Keep checking back for more news of the strange and bizarre. For Enigmatic Anomalies News Update, I'm Terry Lang.